Okay, so I wanted to give an update to the ring box. Um, this is my first real project with the Shaper Origin. I wanted to do this because I had done it before in a competing product and it wasn't quite as precise as I'd wanted. So I was really curious to see how the Shaper Origin would do. Um, yesterday uh, evening, I cut out the base, what I call the base of it. And you can see here, it's just a circle, right? By the way, I didn't do any CAD. This is just a, a circle that I designed on board the tool three inch circle. And I made an outer cut. I set it to outside cut, which would mean, let me think here. Yeah, this is the, the three inch right here. So the outside, cut around that. Also cut the flange, the base flange, and then cut, set an offset for the, in, for the inside of this. Still an outside cut on the tool and just step down, step down, step down. Um, overall, I think this turned well. Uh, well, this is still a bit of a prototype. Um, so I think I would have done a little bit more offsetting here to try to clean this up. Um, but I made a user error and this became much thinner than I had designed. I was trying to make that a quarter inch and it's probably down to three sixteenths maybe. So I didn't want to go any more offsets and chance weakening this too much where it would break. But, you know, it's maple. Maybe it could have made it. I think overall I could sand this out and I probably will before I finish it. But I want to also be careful that if I sand too much here, the, the fit will get loose and I don't want that. So um, you can see here the mistake I made, I wasn't paying attention and actually dropped the bit, lowered the, the spindle into, into this. And that's why I went, had to go narrow and narrow to try to cover that up a bit. The bottom is fairly flat. I could do a little sanding there or I could have done one more offset maybe. Lessons learned again. Um, so today I went to the cap, and on the cap I spent a lot of time making sure that it was as meticulous as possible because this is the presentation layer, right? So I thought the cuts here, this is a three inch inside cut now with an offset for this. And what I did this time is I cut basically this and this almost all the way down, then pocketed. And that seemed to, for whatever reason, seemed to go faster. I don't think that's actually true, but it just seemed to be more enjoyable to, to make these cuts first and then pocket it out. Probably could have done one more layer um, offset here to smooth this out a little bit. I'll probably sand this inside. But what I did when it was done, when this came out, I did put this on this and it was a nice, nice fit. So what I did is I took it over to the oscillating spindle sander, which has a belt sander. It's that orange rigid one that we've probably seen a million times. And I put it on the bed and I just brought it up to the, uh, the sandpaper and just spun it a little bit. And then, you know, gave it a little bit more pressure and did that maybe, you know, 50 circles and cleaned up a, a ton of any of the marks there. The only thing I see, and I didn't want to go any further, is uh, one little burn mark. And I got most of that out. And I had to be careful not to flatten any of it because if you do flatten and then twist the the top, the cap and the base, you might see a little difference there. It's pretty minor. Maybe I'll spend some more time on that sander. But overall, I can tell you that the precision of the circles, much better than I'm used to. Very, very impressed. And, you know, on the MDF one I made, it was so tight that I couldn't, that I actually broke the flange off trying to separate them. So um, since I did a little bit of sanding and a little bit of offset, uh, that helped a lot. So kudos, kudos to, to uh, Shaper Origin. Very, very nice. And what I'd like to do in the final one is do an engraving there. You know, on the one that I did before, it was for Valentine's Day. It had a heart and the, the year in it. And then do the person's initial cutout, maybe in walnut and glued on. Both of those would certainly require uh, CAD design infusion or Inkscape. Um, that is it. I have one other thing, but I'll do it in a separate post. Thanks.